that situation in Puerto Rico. But first, let's turn to our weather. What's it going to be like around here? Just more of the same. We, uh, we hit those rain showers on Sunday. It's like we can't get rid of them now. They're going to be here this afternoon. We start off with some soakers this morning, some lightning, a little bit of hail for some locations. Uh, here's a view outside coming across the state and into Washington. Very dreary this afternoon around our midday now. Temperatures at 59 degrees in Portland, Scamania 54. Seaside, quite the view because you're getting some rain right now, but you're also seeing some sunlight peeking in through the clouds. So uh, kind of an interesting lighting going on. And Stoller at 58 degrees. Uh, let me take you to the radar right now. It's pretty active. This is a loop over the last two hours or so. And these showers have been rolling in off the Pacific. But behind this surge right here that's over the Cascades, uh, things are kind of slowing down a little bit. So this afternoon it's going to be even more patchy, uh, those showers, and more scattered uh, than where we were sitting this morning where we had about a rain event every 10 minutes or so passing through the city. So there is some heavy rain right now. Areas of Malala towards Mill City, Silver right now, Beaver Creek, and this is again pushing off to the east. So if you're up in the Cascades, uh, that's where the heaviest of the rain is going to be at this time. Let's zoom into Portland. I have Interstate 5. We have 405 and 84 here. Uh, likely all the roads and in between are going to be wet and damp as we go into the afternoon because of these showers that have been in and out throughout the morning. Uh, fourth plane and up to areas of Vancouver, you're seeing some passing showers too. Right now, nothing uh, constant, but there is going to be some spotty showers uh, in the forecast for your afternoon. So don't leave pretty much. Don't leave the door uh, without some sort of rain gear as you go into the afternoon. Salem, same story. Those heavier showers are off to your northeast, uh, but it's been in and out through the morning. We've had some lightning. We've been hearing some thunder. Uh, so we're going to be kind of watching that as we go into the afternoon. And if we have anything severe, Claire will be in here later on and she'll keep you covered as we go into the afternoon hours. Here's 1219. We're going to have rhododendron. We're going to have welges, government camp. You're going to be seeing the rain showers this afternoon. Snow up on the the mountain. Now this is yesterday evening uh, before uh, the sun went down. So there's a little bit of light. Watch what happens overnight. We get some snowfall and we get into this morning and there's a whole layer of snow there on Mount Hood Meadows. So if you're getting antsy for the winter, it's starting to look like it there on Mount Hood Meadows at this time, picking up about an inch to two inches of snow and likely some more as we go through today. Uh, here's the day planner temperatures in the 60s, 59 degrees by one o'clock. The area of low pressure right here sitting in a pool of cold air and with that moisture coming in off the Pacific, we've just been seeing those showers and possible uh, thunderstorms, which uh, are going to continue in the forecast for at least the next day or so. This green slice right here, that's a flash flood watch until noon tomorrow because of the heavy rain. Uh, the Eagle Creek area here uh, might be dealing with some problems with uh, runoff and debris flow and mudslides. So that's something we're going to have to watch. Haven't seen any reports yet, but it's definitely possible. Here's Tuesday at 730. That's today. We have the heavy rain off to the south. Watch what happens overnight. Another surge of moisture comes passing through. I expect it to be a wet start tomorrow morning, and it's going to continue to be pretty rainy as we go into our Wednesday afternoon. Seven day forecast. There are some improvements. They're going to come Friday on the first official day of fall at 68 degrees. Saturday and Sunday temperatures in the 70s. A forecast high of 77 degrees on Monday, so we do get out of this cool rut uh, by the time we get into our Friday.